Hey guys, Tyler, Fish in Southwest City, Arkansas. I'm going to take a minute to talk about pepper custom baits. So this will be the second part of the video. I was going to cover the commando series. The first part was over uh, the broad description of everything they make from spinner baits, football jigs, bladed jigs, swim jigs, buzz baits, that kind of material. Um, if you haven't seen that video, I highly recommend you watching it. I'm going to drop the link to the video down below. Um, Alright, so commando series, it covers three different baits. First one's going to be a spinner bait, the second one's going to be a uh, buzz bait, and the third one's going to be a bladed jig, or the rumbler as they, as they call it. Alright, so, why should you fish these? Uh, that's probably your, your first question. Well, they're different. So usually on spinner baits, you're going to get the, you're going to get the fixed hook. That's so coming out of the end, you're going to have your traditional blades, you're going to have a fixed normal hook, and you may put a trailer on the back of that. Cool. So Commando Series, they've done different well, Pepper Custom Baits that makes normal spinner baits, but they make these too. So these, you can see that, is going to have an O-ring. And that's exactly what Commando is. It's, it gives it that freedom to move around. All right, And, and they complete it with a 2 watt Gamakatsu treble hook. And it's hand tied with a feather, with their own little feather. So it kind of gives it off its little... Um, and still gives it a trailer, if you will. So if you take that and compare it, it's not a whole lot, but it's enough. So this is what I was talking about, the fixed hook. And now you can kind of see the treble hook hanging out about right here. Okay? So if they're slashing at it, you're in clear open water, and they're maybe short striking it, go to this. You know, if you're fishing your normal spinnerbait, and they're, back, and they're uh, slashing, can't get them to hook up, switch over to this. A little feather, maybe if you stop it, it'll flare a little bit. Maybe it might do it enough. If not, you got two other hooks, increase your uh, hookup ratio. So I really like these. Um, again, four and a three and a half uh, blades. I love them. This is Hawk Secret, and uh, this is called Gilly. So they kind of get your shad pattern, and you got your bluegill pattern. Again, that's another look um, at, their, at their feathers. Hand tied feathers, which you can buy the chest of treble hooks hand tied already if you want to on the website as well. All right, second part will be your buzz baits. Buzz baits, buzz baits. <coughs> so, like the spinner baits, so these are going to be on your no ring, so it's going to give it that commando style movement, right? And so, it moves. When you order a commando uh, buzz bait, it will come with a prop built into the, the head, followed by the O-ring, all right? And then it should already have a 4 aught trocar spring lid hook on, so that way you can, uh, and it'll come with with a, a swim bait that'll match your, your, uh, your lure. So, so you're already ready to fish. So when you put it on, Right, so it'll be about like that. What they also do is they give you the treble hook. All right, hand tied feather, just like the spinner bait. Small presence. All right, so maybe maybe they're wanting, maybe they're a little phonetic. You want this one. All right, it's smaller, small profile, and it's just a little bit different than having that big old swim bait come on the back end of it. Also, like I said, if they're, if they're slashing at it, not ready to commit, try this. Give it a shot, you can stop it, that feather will flare. And you got two more hooks. Increase your uh, hookup ratio. Nothing but success on these. I really like them. Great uh, product. They're really nice so far. Alright, next one and last one are the bladed jigs, which they call the rumblers. Um, I'm going to show you these first so you can kind of see, you can see a difference. Alright, so this is called Redneck Shad. Uh, real quick, I didn't say it. Uh, they're white. A green one is called Summer Gill. And this one's called Sweet Potato. Okay? Um, back to the rumbler, sorry about that. Both of these are called Redneck Shad. I went with the same color so you can see the difference. Um, swim bait. So it'll have a 4 rot. Swim bait, truck car hook, spring loaded. It comes with a swim bait. It comes with uh, both hooks. And it also comes with hand tied feather, number two treble lot hook. 
I love these. The Commando to these has given it a lot more action than I thought it was possible. Um, with your swim bait, it tends to rise up a little bit, like your traditional swim bait would. Um, brings up in the water column a little bit more. Gives it a lot of hunting. You'll be fishing it, and you'll feel it. It'll, it'll be fishing, and also a, a dart off. Um, it hunts really well. I've actually liked them just like this. Um, I think it's different. Most most fish don't really see this, especially that feather. Like I said you stop it, and it'll flare up. Um, and then with this, with it being small, you don't have a whole lot. It'll stay down a little bit deeper, and it it's just it hunts really really well. It's pretty incredible how small this hunt, how effective it is. Um, this is called Sticky Greens. Kind of give you another look at it. Pretty much it's just a green pumpkin, green pumpkin uh, swim bait, and then this one has a black black uh, blade. Pretty nice. Um, so those are the Commando series. Like I said, spinner bait, the buzz bait, and the uh, rumbler, which is also the bladed jig. Um, I highly recommend you checking out these products. Maybe they, hopefully they work for you as well as they've worked for me. Um, I'm going to drop the link down below so that we can give them a check. If you like them, uh, tell them that you saw this video, you ordered them from this video, and uh, hopefully I'll see you again. Next video I'm going to do is probably in a few weeks, I'm going to go over swim jigs, kind of trailers that I use, and the success I've had on them. Um, I highly recommend you watching that video. If, if you liked this video and the one before that, please give it a thumbs up. My second video I've ever done, I welcome feedback. Uh, tell me what I could do differently that would draw your attention a little bit more. Um, I appreciate y'all for watching. Y'all have a great day.